Hey, I'm Dr. Jenny Billings from Rowan Cabarrus Community College in North Carolina. I am here to talk about something that probably has not been easy this year, student engagement. This is something that I've been worried about, that you've been worried about, and there's honestly a tool out there that can help you with that. Now, as a long-term MindTap user, and as your friend, somebody that will hold your hand and help you through this entire process, I want to show you a few tips and tricks directly here in MindTap that can help you engage your students now or in future terms. I'm sharing my screen right now so we can look very quickly together. And the first thing I wanted to point out was the learning path here in MindTap. This is where you and your students land when you go directly into MindTap for the first time. And as you can see with the edit toggle on, there are lots of little pencils that show you things that are editable. Through these pencils, you can change due dates, you can rename, reorder, hide, show, set availability dates. There's a lot of different things that you can do to truly customize this experience to match up with your course, your syllabus, your LMS, and of course your personality. So engagement, is something that starts right here from the get-go. Now let's talk about within the chapter itself. So once you go into a chapter or an article here in MindTap, you have the ability to engage your students here as well. So while you're prepping or you're preparing your course, you could go in here and highlight sharing in orange, then shares with your students. So while they are reading directly in that chapter or article, they will see what you deem as important. You could go a step above that and you could highlight content and you could add a note. Doing that allows you to add in extra credit, ask a question you would like them to consider or answer while they're reading. You could tell them why something is important. There's lots of different things you could do here. Just make sure you check the share box so they can see it too. I like to call these hidden gems. Something else you can do, as long as you turn on the edit feature, you can add in content directly in the chapter. So you can add in a video that helps you introduce, close out, or maybe even summarize what students have just read. You could put in a document that you always use. You could take them out to a website that you think is helpful. There's lots of things that you can do directly in the book very easily. Finally, one of my tips and tricks is within the progress app or the grade book here in MindTap. Now, as you can see, there are quite a few tabs here that allow you a lot of opportunities to make sure that your students are successful. The one that we're gonna focus on right now is called analytics. This tab is a visual representation of your students in your MindTap course. And as you can see, when you hover over one of the dots that shows you who the student is, what their time in the course is, their course score currently, and their engagement score, how engaged they are in the course. From here, you can actually click directly into that student record and see all of this information to start a really good conversation with that student. You even have their email address to go there directly. So consider this like a very quick and easy early alert system that is put directly here in MindTap to help you make sure that your students are successful. Now, I realize those are only a few things and we didn't go over them in depth, but there's opportunity to go into this as far as you want to. So if you're interested in learning more, if you want somebody to help you design a course, if you simply want to bounce ideas off of somebody, Cengage would love to help, and so would I. So contact your Cengage rep directly and ask about opportunities to get more involved with Cengage. Um, ask about opportunities to set up a MindTap course. And hint, hint, you can even request me. Hope to see you soon.